Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for today's quick tutorial, which is on showing you how I export my photos from Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. So a question that I receive a lot online is, how do I get my images so sharp on Instagram? And a lot of people think that it has a lot to do with how I export from my photo editing software programs. Well, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm gonna show you all what my export settings are. So that way, maybe you all can try them and see if it helps for you all. I don't know, but this is what I utilize. So once I have my photo edited in Lightroom, I will come up to the top and go to file and then export. From there in the drop down, I'll choose where my destination is and then I'll come down to file settings. Now for my street landscape, generally most of what I do, I'm exporting from Lightroom as a TIFF file. And so I'll select TIFF, have compression on none, and then make sure that my bit depth is on 16 bit. And then my color space, I always keep on sRGB as well. So once I do that, I'll export my TIFF file to my drive, and then I'll continue making my adjustments in Photoshop. So once my file has exported from Lightroom onto my desktop, I'll come to the file, drag and drop into Photoshop, and I'll go through my edits that I want to do in Photoshop, and then I'll export from here by going to file and then save as. And then this time I'm saving as a JPEG. So I'll select JPEG and then we'll click on save. And so from here, I choose the format option of progressive with three scans. And then I keep the quality as at the highest that I can go, which is a 12 which is maximum uh, image quality for the JPEG compression. So once I do that, I will click OK, and then it saves onto my computer. Once I have the JPEG, I'll go to my website and upload it directly to my website from my computer, where I have an app on my phone that I can just download my images from my website to my phone, and then I upload them to Instagram. And that's it. That's all I do for exporting my files from my photo editing programs. So I don't know if this is helpful, but I know it's a question that I've received a lot and I wanted to actually show, show you my settings and what I utilize and in hopes that it might help someone. I don't know, but that's that. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.